Hey there, Clashers, and welcome back. Let's talk about the magic items in Clash of Clans. So since Supercell introduced magic items to Clash of Clans, we've gotten quite a few. Let me open this up. It's looking a bit empty here, but we've got all these magic items here. I'm going to talk about what the top five magic items are, in my opinion, of course. But before we jump in, I want to hear from you guys down in the comments below if Supercell adds more magic items to the game, which is highly likely that they will. What kind of magic items would you guys like to see them add? I know at least one thing that comes to my mind pretty much immediately is something to speed up the pets specifically. Uh, so what I mean is like we have the builder potion to speed up the builders and we have the laboratory potion to speed up lab upgrades, but we don't have anything to speed up these uh, pet upgrades. Of course, we have books that can finish them immediately, but we need something that makes them like the... Uh, 24 hour faster kind of thing. But other than that, I'm interested to hear some ideas from you guys. But anyway, with that, let's get into this top five list. So coming in at number five is going to have to be the training potion. If you've got time to sit down and grind out a bunch of attacks, or if you're in a hurry and you've just got to get your war attacks in as soon as possible, there's nothing better than having that training potion there and ready to go speed things up. So I think the, the training potion is really great for that, obviously and I use it quite a bit. I even go out of my way to purchase them with uh, gems or whatever when I'm low on them. Now number four is going to be the runes, specifically the gold rune, dark elixir rune, and regular elixir rune. And we're not talking about the builder base runes here. They are not on my list. If they were deleted from the game, I would not be sad. And also the reason I put all three of these runes kind of in the same slot is because their importance varies based on what I need. So for example, if I've got a lot of gold upgrades and I need gold, I'm obviously going to want a gold rune more than an elixir rune or a dark elixir rune or if I'm focused on hero upgrades, dark elixir rune is pretty nice. If I had to say one's better than the other, dark elixir is probably my favorite of the three just because we have so much dark elixir needed for upgrades between, uh, what is it now, 80 levels of pets and then how many levels of heroes? It's getting kind of crazy up here. So yeah, dark elixir rune is pretty good. but. Definitely don't discount the golden elixir runes, especially if you've got lots of builders open or if you got a bunch of walls to do in a pinch. Those are nice for that as well. Coming in at number three, we've got the power potion and the hero potion. I think these are really nice additions to the game. And especially once you've gone up to a new town hall level recently and you want to buff up the heroes, buff up the pets, and then get the max level troops that you could possibly have at that level, these things come in super handy. They also make it so that you don't have to feel like you need to rush your offensive upgrades quite as badly as long as you have some of these handy. Another nice thing, that's why I was able to get my pets up to level 5, uh, basically when Town Hall 15 launched. That way when I use that potion, boom, pets go from 5 to 10, they're maxed out and we are rolling. Or if you're going up to a new Town Hall level and you're trying to figure out what troop you want to upgrade next, you can mess around with different troops. Of course, you got to have your laboratory upgraded, but once it's upgraded, pop that power potion and you can test out whatever troops you want. You got an hour and they are all maxed out. So yep, that is my number three spot. At number two, we're going to bring in my favorite books in the game. Books, obviously great for upgrades because as long as you've got the resources, you start an upgrade and you can finish it immediately. So my two favorite books being the Book of Everything and the Book of Heroes. Now the Book of Everything I use almost exclusively for heroes, but it has that additional uh, benefit of being flexible. You can use it for everything. It's in the name. But yes, there's nothing worse than waiting for a hero to upgrade. So these books come in very handy for that. Um, I almost entirely wait for those books to become available before I even start a hero upgrade because I don't like to sit out of wars and I know you guys don't either. So books are great and those two are my favorite books of all of them. Before we get to the number one, I've got a few honorable mentions here that I want to bring up. So first of all, it's going to be basically the rest of the books. So the Book of Fighting is really nice. Book of uh, Building, super nice. Uh, book of Spells, I mean, it's good, but why does Supercell have to give us so many Book of Spells? Come on now. I get tired of seeing Book of Spells because we get way more Books of Spells offered to us than we get spells to upgrade, basically. Okay, end of rant. Other honorable mentions, of course, all the hammers are great. Uh, the reason that the hammers Actually, let's bring up this metal shop really quickly. So the reason the hammers are not in my top five are because one, they're so expensive, especially the Hammer of Heroes. Uh, the ha Hammer of Heroes could easily be my number one thing, but they're expensive. And then number two, they are only with CWL medals and you can only get once, you can get them once a week when you have enough medals to actually get them. So they're really good magic items. I just don't think they're top five because of how hard they are to get 
and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That and they're uh, they're one and done. So you don't get a whole lot out of it. You get that one upgrade and it's it's gone. And then another honorable mention up there. We'll go ahead and say that the uh, the super potion is nice. It's the one that lets you unlock a super troop without spending dark elixir. Especially if you're on a big dark elixir grind, trying to get heroes and pets leveled up or something in the laboratory and you don't want to spend the DE, it is very nice to be able to just drop that potion in and then off you go. All right, with all that out of the way, what would I say is my number one favorite magic item in Clash of Clans? And you might be a little surprised by this, might not, but I think the best magic item in Clash of Clans is the Builder Potion. I've said it, the Builder Potion is here. So why would I take the Builder Potion over hammers that don't require resources and instant upgrade something? Or even the books, they do require resources like the books, but the books are instant. Well, the reason the Builder Potion, so the reason I go with the uh, Builder Potion is number one, they're so much easier to get. You can get them with gems, you can get them with CWL medals, you can get them out of the shop, usually get them with land game rewards. It would be super nice if they would add raid medals for Builder Potion, but I don't, I don't think they're going to do it. Because, let's be honest, Builder Potion's kind of OP. And let's do a little bit of math on it as well. So let's say you have one Builder Potion. If you have six builders and they're all working on something that has at least 10 hours left to upgrade, you're going to get 60 hours worth of upgrading done in one hour. 60 hours, that's with one builder potion. Now, for each builder potion that you use, you want to make sure that each builder is working on something that has at least 10 hours worth of upgrading to do. Otherwise, you're not going to get the full benefit of the potion. So if you got 10 hours left, you pop a potion. After one hour, 10 hours comes off of all of your upgrades. And then, of course, more potions is going to be another 10. So if you're going to do, you know, three potions, it's 30 hours and so on and so forth. But I really like to be able to get all of my builders going on lengthy upgrades and then I can get as many builder potions as possible and then start popping them all. I've done like when Town Hall 15 dropped, I think I had like 20 something builder potions and I popped 12 or 13 at a time just to try to get some upgrades done. It's really nice. It's uh, I think it's super high value, super easy to get. It's not as exclusive as hammers, and it's not even as exclusive as books. I mean, you can get books in other places, but it's so much easier to get builder potions. So yeah, that is my number one magic item. And that is my top five magic items list. Uh, let me know down in the comments below as well, how would your top five magic item list look? Is it different? You got something else at number one, I'm sure at least a few of you do. But let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up as well and consider hitting subscribe. And as we head out of here, if you want to check out some OPE dragon attacks, be sure to check out my last video. Some awesome attacks in there. Not a lot of views on that video yet though, so be sure to go show that one some love. Thank you guys for stopping by and I will catch you all tomorrow.